Do you feel he cares for you and loves you if he's not supporting you after six to 12 months and talk of marriage, et cetera? What a tricky, tricky. Oh, I'm good, yeah. <laughs> Josie, yes and no. <laughs> okay, more yes or more no. This is a really tricky question. This is about as tricky as it gets because guys are used to being scammed by scam sites and scam ladies, right? There, there, there's too many guys. It's a multi-billion dollar industry. So they're hypersensitive. But Jana, what do guys always say? They say, well, she is not asking for money. So she must be a good girl, right? She must be, it must be real, authentic, genuine. But... <laughs> Joseph, you know, I, I am speechless now because it is such a science, I can say, and it should be just uh, on the plate. It should be a lot of practice to understand what lady is real and what is not. You just should know the culture. And uh, yeah, exactly. Red flag when she asking money, of course, but she cannot ask but manipulate with other sort of events in her life and how to separate a girl who really has troubles and really expect it's like a life test for men. She didn't create this test life. She had such conditions in her life when she had some problem. And of course, she want to have supportive men next to her. And she's with the genuine feelings and how to separate this girl from girl who manipulating and bringing these tough stories to manipulating you and just earn money on you. It is very tricky. It is very difficult to understand. The only thing you can understand, the feedback from the girl, how she is into you, how serious she is. Do, does she really want to meet with you, to move to you? And the only thing you can check, to meet in person and to have this plan to build this connection in reality on the distance, you will never understand. And you can't understand these borders between good girls and bad girls, good, girl, good girls in troubles and bad girls who manipulate in you. And you're trying to be a good guy, should be, but many good guys come in trap because of this. As always, I always agree with Jana's uh, answers. I want to just add to it, though, that the first thing Jana said was golden. you got to understand the culture. If you understand the culture, and I'm talking about, you know, your average Ukrainian woman who is just genuine, sincere. She wants what every woman wants in life, right? you got to understand what that culture is. If you understand that culture, you can't get scammed because you know what's real and what's not. But I wanted to add to it that the other golden piece of advice is that you can tell, what pond were you fishing in? And that's what you guys just don't get it through your fucking heads. And I don't understand. And I dropped the F-bomb so you guys will fucking hear me. You're fishing in a cesspool pond expecting to catch a rainbow trout or a beautiful salmon, you know, or, a, you know, that's the, the thing. So, yeah, you got to understand the culture and understand that you're what is a good pond of ladies to fish in. You're by far better off to go to Ukraine. Unfortunately, there's a war on now, so this is not good advice at this time. But go to Ukraine. Just say hi in Silpa, which is their, you know, safe way. Uh, say hi in a coffee shop, say hi on the street. You're far better off doing that than on any fucking site, almost any site, because they all use sub agencies, 10, 12. You guys are all, most of you, I mean, 80% of you are hypersensitive about how to answer question number one, is it? Uh, no. Um, number two, pay a monthly support to help. This is the tricky answer to the question. But you guys are all going to freak out on me. I know you. Joe, if you if she's asking for monthly support, it's a scam. It's a scam. <laughs> the thing is, guys, if you're in a relationship, a full-on real relationship with a woman, yeah, you'd start it online maybe, but then you've gone to see her and it's a real relationship, okay, it's not a scam. It's a quality relationship with a quality human being. Guess what? So imagine you're in a relationship. Let's say it's between six months to one year with a foreign man. And he knows financially you're struggling, right? 
you, you're a single mom, you, you're struggling, right? Okay, so you're surviving. But after six months to one year, he doesn't offer to help at all. No, maybe he sends you flowers. What do you think of this man in this situation? No offer of help financially. Uh, after six months, maybe not several months, okay, three, four, six, seven, uh, you understand that your situation is serious, you have your building plans for future. And if you understand that lady is staying in a difficult financial situation, 100 bucks for you is like nothing. For lady, it can be like a good help for her family, especially if she's staying in Ukraine. It's quite good money. She, she It really can help to her. So... Um, if you will ask me if I stay six months in relations and we have some plans for future, if this man serious to me, I will not break maybe relations because of this reason. Not maybe, I will not break relations for this reason. But I will like expect maybe this. I will explain you why, guys. Because our Ukrainian men doing this support and when people staying in relations, just because they love each other, they want to be next to each other. So um, in our country, it's absolutely appropriate. Do you feel he cares for you and loves you? if he's not supporting you after six to 12 months and talk of marriage, et cetera. What a tricky, tricky. Oh, I'm good, yeah? <laughs> Josie, yes and no. <laughs> okay, more yes or more no? Uh, more no. More so no. Guys, I, so unfortunately, yeah. through such kind of actions, man shows how serious he into lady, how seriously he want to take care about her.